In 1985, Warren Buffett had to make an incredibly difficult decision, which was whether to shut down the textile business Berkshire Hathaway, the original business Warren acquired, which was where Berkshire Hathaway got its name. In today's episode, I break down that decision and why he ultimately closed the business with a summary of Warren Buffett's annual letter from 1985, entitled The Anxieties of Business Change. So, why cover this? Because it's a fascinating look at how Warren went about making a phenomenally challenging decision, one that was close to his own heart. And I think it offers a lot of insight into how we can all go about analyzing and ultimately making difficult decisions in our own work and lives. Here's a quick excerpt of that letter. Over the years, we had the option of making large capital expenditures in the textile operation that would have allowed us to somewhat reduce variable costs. Each proposal to do so looked like an immediate winner. Measured by standard return on investment tests, in fact, these proposals usually promise greater economic benefits that than would have resulted from comparable expenditures in our highly profitable candy and newspaper businesses. But the promised benefits from these textile investments were illusory. Many of our competitors, both domestic and foreign, were stepping up to the same kind of expenditures. And once enough companies did so, their reduced cost became the baseline for reduced prices industry-wide. Viewed individually, each company's capital investment decisions appeared cost-effective and rational. Viewed collectively, the decisions neutralized each other and were completely irrational. Just as happens when each person watching a parade decides he can see a little bit better if he stands on his tiptoes. After each round of investment, all the players had more money in the game and returns remained anemic. Thus, we faced an miserable choice. Huge capital investment would have helped to keep our textile business alive, but would have left us with terrible returns on our ever-growing amounts of capital. After the investment, moreover, the foreign competition would still have retained a major continuing advantage in labor costs. A refusal to invest, however, would make us increasingly non-competitive, even measured against domestic textile manufacturers. I always thought myself in the position described by Woody Allen in one of his movies. More than any other time in history, mankind faces a crossroads. One path leads to despair and utter hopelessness, the other to total distinction. Let us pray we have the wisdom to choose correctly. For more, listen to episode 171 or visit outlieracademy.com slash 171.